Hi everyone, we're gonna talk about skincare today, okay? Also, it's the quarantine. So if anyone should be building a healthy habit with their skin and like skincare and all that, like now is the time. The point of this video is to highlight other ways and approaches and lifestyle changes or habits you can build to get clearer skin or better skin or good skin beyond just the skincare products themselves. For the most part, a lot of people have now believe in this idea where we need this certain product or XYZ amount of products in order to get clearer skin. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. That is definitely a marketing gimmick that industries businesses are trying to sell to us it's kind of like if you're trying to get big and you're just taking supplements or you're eating protein powder alone you're not gonna get big you still gotta put an effort at the gym and then the supplements and the protein powders are gonna help you so same thing here just because you have great skincare products don't necessarily mean you're automatically gonna get good skin I think it's kind of obvious you still need to do other things that we're gonna talk about so the first point I really want to highlight is to go at your own pace when it comes to building a skincare routine. I remember being so stressed out because I was 16 and I would watch like all these videos on skincare routine that were made by like 20 year olds like me, myself right now. People would recommend like a $50 product saying that and I'm like I cannot afford a $50 skincare product at age 13, 15, 16, whatever. If you can, by all means, go ahead. But the point of this video is that it's not in the product. It's just taking it slow. And I would see their, you know, huge amount of skincare collection thinking that I'm so behind any of all of those. It's only natural to build a bigger skincare product collection because the older you get, you just, you know, you have time to learn more about your skin. You have time to do more research and find out what product works for your skin and kind of like me right now. But it took me years before I got here. I've only had two products that I was using consistently from middle school to the middle of high school. And that was just a face wash and my SPF moisturizer. I was using an SPF moisturizer at night, yes, because I didn't know better. I didn't know that SPF would clock your pores at night. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Those are just the only products I use and I mean I was fine. So a brief timeline again is from middle school to middle of high school, I was only using face wash and SPF through in toner in the middle of high school through in essence in my third year of college and then recently last year i became more consistent with using sheet masks because that really helped moisturize my skin and adding a gel moisturizer and a night specific cream you gotta take it slow grow your own pace because you get to learn more about your skin that way don't try to rush it just because other people have like 27 step in their skincare routine and you think you need 27 step because it's gonna take time and it's okay. So it's great to get inspiration from and take everything with a grain of salt, but again, don't buy into the idea that whatever people's skincare routine is, is like the holy grail skincare routine. Everyone's skincare routine to me, in my opinion, should be unique to their own. Make do what you have right now, okay? Second thing, second thing is to listen to your skin your skin is no doubt gonna change over time so it's very important to meet your skin needs when it does change is it getting drier or something? are you breaking out when you eat certain foods for me i noticed that for a brief period during my college phase i college phase <laughs> during my college years i would break out when i eat spicy food so when i was eating like flaming hot chips or spicy Korean noodles, whatever it may be, for some reason I would break out. And I think it's because I was just so stressed that like spicy food and stress just didn't go well together. But that was me. That was how my face reacted to it. So I had to cut down on spicy food and it did help my skin get better. I no longer have that problem anymore. But now for some reason I get hormonal acne on my chin, like massive ginormous uh, like zits on my chin when it's my time of month. It never happened, but now it it happens. So your skin go through changes. Um, your skin can change when you age, or it can even change through seasons. Uh, I do have combination skin, and I'm the kind of person where I would just stick with my skincare routine. And so during the winter time, when my skin actually gets drier, 
which is something I never noticed because I didn't pay close attention to my skin, I would just stick with the same products that I used, which didn't really help because I needed more like moisturizing product. So then I started uh, throwing acid into my skincare routine because when I realized it helps. <laughs> Depending on how your skin changes, it's normal for you to have to increase your skincare products like me or decrease your skincare products. You know, maybe you need a lot of treatments now, but in the future you don't need that many treatments anymore. So follow your own body, skin type. Drink more water, get more sleep. Those are always good habits to have anyway. Okay. Finally, the third point I want to highlight is to commit to your skincare every day. And night. Your skincare routine right now may just be splashing cold water in your face in the morning and it works for you. Do that. Or if your skincare routine has like seven steps or 27 steps because that works for you, then do that and commit to that. I get it. There's going to be nights and mornings where you just don't want to go through your skincare routine or maybe you sleep through your makeup because you're too lazy to take it off. And that's okay, you know, we've been there, I've been there. Obviously, we're not perfect, it's fine to slip once or twice or a few times. It's not good for your skin. If you did sleep with your makeup on, honey, please wash it off the next day as soon as you can. Do not go through the next day wearing the same makeup from the night before. That is just a no-no. Okay, I'm fine with going through my night skincare routine, but my morning skincare routine is just a lot harder for me And it's really just three steps, but for some reason I can never add the toner part in Once I start making a commitment to go through a toner in the morning over the last few weeks I know it's a significant change to my skin, I would say So try to make that commitment At the end of the day, you know, you could carry out the first and second point But if you're not even going through your skincare routine, you're not gonna get the full result too So whether, and that could, and that is the uh, <laughs> But, you know, go at your own pace, breathe, get to learn your skin, um, and make that commitment that you're gonna have a healthy skincare routine and a strong, loving relationship with your skin. That's what we're here for. Positivity. Okay, so these three points, I hope you've learned something new from. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my skincare routine. I should probably say this, but I have combination skin, so I get, it's pretty dry on the outer uh, side of my face, but the center of my face is pretty oily, or oilier. I didn't have makeup on when I was filming this, but I used a micellar water cleanser to remove my makeup because I find it to be more gentle than makeup wipes. Now I'm going in with the cleanser, and I've stuck with this product for 8 years now just because it's worked for me, but I'm sure any cleanser you have is fine. I wet my face with warm water to open my pores, then massage the product into my hands to foam it up a little. This is so that I won't need to apply a lot of pressure directly on my face to get it foamed up. Once I'm done, I'll rinse it off with warm water first, then ending it with cold water to close my pores. Then I'll pat my face dry with a towel and make sure you're drying your face in a patting motion to be more gentle on your skin. After washing my face, I'll go in with a toner and I'll pour it out on a cotton pad and work this product into my entire face. I like to do a gentle swiping up motion to avoid pulling down on my skin, which could cause sackiness, and we don't want that. <laughs> I find that toner makes a huge difference for my skin, it just makes my skin feels more fresh, reduces my redness, and balances out the pH level of my skin because face cleanser tends to be very basic. I always tell my friends that if there's one step in your skincare routine you shouldn't skip, it would be applying toner. And don't forget your neck as well. I've also used this exact toner for about one year now because I find it to be gentle on my skin while still being great at removing any excess dirt off my face that my cleanser might have missed. Next, I started adding essence into my skincare routine for that extra layer of moisture because I have combination skin. I use about one to two pumps depending on how dry my skin is feeling that day and I'll work it into the rest of my face. Because of its interesting slimy-like texture, it takes me a little bit more time to really massage it into my skin and I do this in gentle circular motion and swiping upwards again whenever I can to prevent sagginess. I've settled on this product for about two years now because honestly, my friend was the one who introduced it to me for its high ratings and I have no complaint. After that, I'll apply a sheet mask and this is definitely my favorite part of my skincare. I started doing this twice a week on Wednesday and Saturday is how I like to spread them out and I feel like it really puts back all the moisture in my face. I've long switched from clay mask to sheet mask because I find that clay mask is just too drying for my skin type, especially during the colder seasons. This one is also very gentle and doesn't burn my face unlike some other sheet masks I've tried. 
Once I have it on, I like to leave my sheet mask on for about 20 minutes. All right, so 20 minutes have passed and we are back. Just look at how moist my face looks. Look at that. <laughs> so once I remove the sheet mask, I like to again massage whatever is left on my face to work all that moisture in. Next, I also started adding in a gel moisturizer my sister introduced me to, and this also provides extra hydration and moisture to my face. This is my second purchase because I really like how cooling and smooth it leaves my skin feeling right after. A little bit of this also goes a long way because of its gel-like consistency, and I'll apply this to my whole face and my neck. And gel moisturizer is definitely new to me and I don't think this step is super necessary, but I started using this all fall and winter and I can tell that my skin greatly appreciated it. Finally, I recently upgraded to this night cream that I bought a couple months ago and wow, this cream is thick. So a tiny bit of this is enough to cover my whole face. I feel like it locks in all the moisture in my face and keeps my skin hydrated all night long. The best part about this is that it also leaves a velvety finish, so it makes my skin feel instantly smoother and softer. And who wouldn't want that? <laughs> I like to use my ring finger to rub this in so that I don't exert as much force on my skin. As you may have picked up on it, I do think being gentle on your skin is key. But in the morning, this is all I would use after toning my face. I use this spot treatment last only when I have pimples or zits and I highly recommend it. This step technically isn't part of my skincare routine, but I always moisturize my lips as well because they get so dry and I've been using my good old trusty Vaseline for years now. And that wraps up my nightly skincare routine. So I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you found something that could work for your skin as well. Or leave a comment sharing what has worked well for you. I hope you find this video helpful. If so, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. It will help me out a lot and you know subscribe to like stick around for more videos and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!